Hi ladybirds, welcome to your maths challenge today that you're going to have a go at doing. Now we're going to start with a challenge which is our little subitizing challenge. I'm going to show you some numbers and this is a little bit like when you're doing your estimating because I would like you to see if you can have a go at telling me what number you think it is that I'm showing you, okay? But try not to worry too much about counting each individual bit. Try to see if you can have a go at showing it at me as quickly as you can. So our first number is this number. Now what do you think that number is? I'm only showing you really quickly. See if you can maybe pause and have a think. Now that number that I've just shown you there, you'll notice is quite similar to the way that I've made this number here on this dice because you can see that this number is the number four and you can see that when you have that pattern of having it almost like in a square shape then that often is a quick way of us knowing that that one is the number four. Oh now similar this looks a little bit similar on a dice as well what number do you think this one is? See if you can think what number that might look like and then again, I'm going to show you my dice. That number's the number five. Now, if you're able to be really fantastic at trying to recognise the number without counting, then you're doing something special called subitizing. And we've done this before. So that's where you're able to be so fantastic at looking at numbers and getting used to your numbers that you don't even need to count. Because sometimes counting is a really good strategy to use to help you. Sometimes you can do it without needing to count. So that one was number five that you had a go to. Oh, what about this one? What number do you think that one might be? Now, that one was the number three. Now, this one is slightly different because I haven't done this one quite right. Uh, or in a line, this time a little bit more rounded. It actually looked a little bit like something that made me think of it being a bit like a three. So it reminded me of a triangle shape, and a triangle has got three sides. So it's kind of reminded me of that. Oh, next one. See if you can have a go this time at this number. Oh, what do you think this number is? Oh, good effort, ladybirds. And again, did you notice? I did it similar, didn't I? Now you got your dice pattern again. So I could see that my number six. Reminded me of the number six because I could see, oh, there's a three here and there is a three here. So all together it would make six. In fact, that's using that special language we started to learn about where we say this part is three. You see it? This part is three and all together it makes six. Okay, we've also got, oh, what would this one be? See if you can work that out. What do you think? If you're counting at home, that's fine. I understand that counting is what you often would want to do. But it's really good if you can start thinking about that number. So on this one, you might notice again, that, look, this one's also six. Because you can see that I've got a three and a three. That also is another way of doing six. And finally, what would this number be? That would be six as well, wouldn't it? I've also got three here and three there. Super effort, ladybirds. Now, today we're going to move on to our new learning now. Now, for our new learning is that we are going to learn a little bit about a special new word called weighing. So when you're trying to weigh something, I wonder, ladybirds, do you think you can remember what that word means if you're trying to weigh something? See if you can have a go first of all. At talking about that word. Well done, Lady Bears. Now, when you're trying to weigh something, you're trying to decide how heavy something is. So you're trying to think, oh, is it something like our new phonic sound when we were doing the mm, sound? Is it something where you're needing to be really strong? Oh, mm. Or maybe it's something where it's actually quite light. And so when you're picking it up, it's as light, of a, light as a feather, as they say. Now, your next challenge, I want you to see if you can have a go at thinking about are there any different ways that you could do weighing? 
maybe have a little think about at home and maybe some of the things um, you have around your house. Have you ever done any weighing before, do you think? Have you ever needed to work out whether something is heavy or if something is quite light? See if you can have a go at that, um, having that chat first and then you'll be ready for the part two of the video.